There are many ways by which sins are forgiven. As we mentioned, Tawbah. Tawbah is repentance, okay? Tawbah is repentance, is getting back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Tawbah has conditions such as you have to intend, okay, not going back to that sin ever again. You have to intend that. You have to regret and feel that in your heart. You have to regret that you committed such a sin. And you, of course, so after that, you ask Allah's forgiveness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if the sin you committed is related to another human being, for example, you stole something from someone, you insulted someone, you did something to someone, not a sin related to yourself. So in that case, you have to go to that person and ask his forgiveness. What if I can't, for example, do that? In this case, you have to return what you took. If you stole something, give it back. If you said a bad word about that person to someone else, so you go to that person that you told him the bad word about someone and you tell him a good word about that person you talked badly about. Okay? And of course, this is uh, a detailed session about Tawbah. We may uh, separate another lesson for it, inshallah. So, Tawbah. Istighfar, of course, saying Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that inni astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh fi al-yawm akthara min sab'een marra. And in another narration, akthara min mi'at marra. So that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I ask Allah's forgiveness and repent to him 70 times daily. And in another narration, he said 100 times daily. And that is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, how many times should we do it then? Uh, Subhanallah. And also uh, among the ways by which sins are forgiven, uh, the intercession of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the intercession of one another in the day of judgment and uh, so on. And of course, the, the daily five prayers. Forgive the sins, cause your sin to be forgiven. Uh, I'll, also, I'll just mention one hadith about that. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, once gathered the companions and he told them, imagine there is a river in front of uh, your house. Okay? And uh, you go and wash yourself in that river five times a day. Will your body still be dirty? Of course, they all said, no, we wash five times a day in, in a river. How can our body be dirty? So the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, this is the example of the prayer. It purifies the heart and purifies the sins such as this river purified the body. Okay, so uh, the daily five prayers, they wash out your sins. You, they, they, they make you forgiven. Okay, of course the minor sins. So these are the ways by which uh, sins are forgiven.